Uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Simple Shit TV. I am your host, Alvin Holden. Um, remember, this channel is an educational channel. Um, we take really complicated things and we break them down into bite-sized small pieces. Today, we are talking about the New York City mayor and drill rap. Um, he recently came out and had some negative things to say and he sat down with them. And I'm going to play this news clip for you guys really quick, but I'm going to come at this from kind of a slightly different angle because I don't see people putting pressure in the right places, if you know what I mean. So let's watch the video real quick and then we'll talk about it on the on the other side. This last night, he's criticized the music genre for contributing to the rising violence in the city. But as CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas explains, the mayor and the rappers were able to come to an agreement. There's been a lot of talk about drill rap, drill music in New York City, connecting violence with the, with the culture. Late Tuesday evening, drill rappers met with Mayor Eric Adams, who's been critical of their music, saying it's causing a spike in violence. But Brooklyn rapper Bleezy says the meeting was productive. We got a, and we got a chance to speak to him as brothers, as we should, and we got a perfect understanding of what's going on. Drill rap came under renewed scrutiny after 18-year-old artist Jaquan McKinley's murder earlier this month, leading Mayor Adams to call for the music's removal from social media. Violent people who are using drill rapping to post who they killed and then antagonize the people who they are going to kill is what the problem is. People look at the videos or listen to the lyrics and stuff. It's going to be characterized as, you know, talking about guns, talking about money, talking about... That's just uh, a music period in every genre. Well, Bleezy admits some artists go too far. If you ain't experienced poverty, you shouldn't even have your opinion on anybody moment. Bleezy says he focuses on the hardships in Brownsville, adding addressing the real root of violence goes well beyond any lyrics. The community is like, it's, 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 it's like, there's no hope, there's no opportunities, no, we're just making music so we can get out of these places. The meeting with Mayor Adams ended with a handshake. The mayor said that a new initiative in partnership with the rappers will be rolled out in a few days. Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. And the mayor admits to just learning about the genre of music from his son and said he was happy to speak to the various. Here's my problem. Are the gangsters these days so thirsty for clout that they are willing to snitch on themselves and lose their freedom to get it? And if that's the case, why are we not having um, a more productive conversation around the fact that that's not worth it? That's my question. That's my, that's what I would, would like to know. Because dudes, the feds are using these guys' social media to lock them up. Not only are they using their own social media, but they're using the words that they're actually producing in a freaking song, like murder details. And in my in my lizard brain that none of that makes any sense so i'm having a really hard time understanding how these real ass ninjas feel like it makes sense for them to snitch on themselves by giving the details of murders in their music it just seems so silly to me so i don't know i want to start a conversation around it because i mean i always thought snitching was not the thing to do, especially if you're doing it on yourself. But I don't know, maybe I'm old school. So hit me in the comments on this one. I don't know, like I said, I was, I, the conversation needs to be had because there's no reason why grown ass men should be doing crimes and then snitching on themselves about the crimes online. That's crazy, that doesn't make any sense. So uh, do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share, you know, hit me in the comments. And remember, Erica Badu said it best. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. You look like you look